BestBookBits.com presents The Warrior Diet Book Summary. Along with the many benefits of the leisure class living comes obesity and its attendant elements. In The Warrior Diet, Ori Hofmikler looks not forward but backward for a solution to the primal habits of early cultures such as nomads and hunter-gatherers, the Greeks and the Romans. Based on survival science, this book proposes not ordinary diet changes but rather a radical yet surprising simple lifestyle overhaul. Drawing on both scientific and studies and historical data, Hofmikler argues that robust health and a lean, strong body can best be achieved by mimicking the classical warrior mode of cycling, working and eating sparingly, under eating during the day and filling up at night. Specific elements from the Warrior Diet Nutrition Program, finding ideal fuel, foods and food combinations to reduce body fat, to the Controlled Fatigue Training Program, promoting strength, speed and resilience, to fatigue through special drills, literally reshape body and mind. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring the book summary of The Warrior Diet. The Warrior Diet. Keynotes. The Warrior Diet is essentially eating one meal a day and restricting calories and macronutrients. If you want to nimble on snacks during the day, you can do so with fruits, vegetables, and a little protein. This doesn't include carbohydrates like bread and grains. Exercising on an empty stomach supports our sympathetic nervous system and promotes more weight loss. This diet guarantees several hours a day of fat-burning hormones precollating through your body. During this period, your body is at its peak capacity to remove toxins and generate energy while staying alert, resisting fatigue and stress. Long periods of under-eating increase protein efficiency. Your body will become more efficient at recycling proteins and will be utilized more efficiently when you do not eat them. Not eating for long periods also improves insulin sensitivity so that when you do eat, your blood sugar doesn't fluctuate wildly and your body doesn't store the carbohydrate calories as fat. The trick is to retrain your body and teach it to become more instinctive. You can do this by avoiding most foods during the day, though he recommends eating vegetables and fruits and a little protein during the day like eggs or whey. He refers to warrior as an instinct deep within us all. Stubborn fat is the fat that's hard to get rid of, and it's caused by an excess of the female hormone estrogen. The Warrior Diet Principle The Warrior Diet is based on the daily cycle of under-eating and over-eating. The Warrior Diet Goals Number 1. Trigger the warrior instinct. 2. Burn fat. 3. Gain strength. 4. Accelerate metabolism. 5. Boost virality. 6. Detoxify. 7. Slow the aging process. And 8. Attain a sense of freedom. 9. Reach Satisfaction, and 10. Live Instinctively. Chapter 1. The Warrior Instinct The Warrior Instinct manifests itself through three other human instincts. Number 1. The Instinct to Survive and Multiply. Number 2. The Hunter-Predator Instinct. 3. The Scavenger Instinct. Falcons are trained well, keeping their edge by keeping them underfed, which allows their vitality and sharpness to maintain. While hunters eat only once hungry, Scavengers eat all the time. Chapter 2, The Warrior Cycle. The distinguishing aspects of the warrior cycle are the energy cycle, the cycle of materialism and dematerialism, the healing process of the cycle. When you eat several meals throughout the day, you don't give your body a chance to go through the process of detoxification and healing, or deprivation and satisfaction. Chapter 3, The Under-Eating Phase. Controlled fasting is easier to follow than water or coffee fast, and it accelerates detoxification and overall well-being. When you fast, insulin drops and the hormone glycogen increases. When it dominates, most of the body's energy comes from glycogen reserves and fat stores. Also, the drop in insulin allows the growth hormone GH to peak. This increases the body's capacity to rejuvenate, repair tissues, and burn fat. A natural elevation of GH should help slow the aging process. The fear of hunger. Many people today have an irrational, almost phobic fear of hunger. We live in a society that teaches us that it isn't ever good to be hungry. Learning to deal with hunger was practiced intentionally to make people tougher and stronger, thereby more resilient to life's hardships. Fasting hunger pains only last a few minutes, but your body adapts. You can eat fresh veggies or fruits and fresh juices or light protein like yogurt or eggs, but always break your fast with fresh raw foods. 
The principle of fasting is based on not eating a full meal during the day. You can consume certain live foods and drink a lot of water. Naturally stimulating beverages like coffee and tea are allowed and a few nutritional supplements are suggested. You must minimize the most lively raw food in the form of fruit, veggies, and natural juices, and small portions of light, fresh protein foods like yogurt, boiled eggs, or Y protein shake. Processed carbs and sugar should be avoided during the under-eating phase as to not burst your insulin levels. Fasting versus starvation. Fasting is the art of manipulating your metabolic system. It is controlled and for a limited time. When you reach this peak time period and eat a larger meal, your body will compensate and your metabolism will be boosted higher than it was before. Conversely, with starvation, the fasting is not controlled and the body is forced to slow down its metabolic rate and start to cannibalize muscle and lean tissue. Fasting to heal. Throughout history, people have incorporated fast as a natural therapeutic method. Overall, mind-body energy is increased with fasting. This healing force throws off accumulated toxins, clears dead cells, and rebalances and rejuvenates the body. The accumulation of material in your body, especially un digested food and toxins makes you sick. To begin with, avoiding toxins is very important. Avoiding toxins is very important. But it is at least as important to give the body a chance to detoxify itself. When you eat the traditional three to six meals and other diets, you don't give your body a chance to detoxify and get rid of all the waste material. Detoxification is literally the neutralizing, breaking down, and elimination of waste and toxins from the body. Every organism and cell has anabolic and catabolic processes. The anabolic process deposits material into the tissues. The catabolic process destroys and takes material away from the body, whether through burning fat, eliminating waste, or removing toxins. This cycle of depositing and removing material should be done on a daily basis. The warrior diet is the only one he's aware of that's based on daily detoxification. Elimination is integral to detoxification. It's also a vital part of the daily human cycle, or the warrior's cycle. The warrior's diet promotes a healthy, natural elimination cycle. Your immune system is naturally boosted during fasting and detoxification. Detoxification and healing process. Sometimes you may get allergic reactions, but these are the body's way naturally activating the immune system to help heal and cleanse itself by getting rid of toxins in any available way. For example, if you have a fever and you let it run its natural course without taking drugs, in most cases, the fever will kill the bacteria or other pathogens. That's helping the body to detoxify and heal. Taking drugs cuts short this process so your body may not have a chance to finish the healing cycle. The adaptation usually lasts for the first few weeks when beginning the warrior diet. Some people adapt immediately, but it normally takes between one to three weeks. Adaptation is necessary. Adaptation relates to the warrior instinct because part of the warrior instinct involves taking chances. Chapter 4, what to consume during the under-eating phase. As mentioned previously, detoxification and keeping insulin at a minimum level are prime importance during the under-eating phase. It's most important to consume live, raw foods on a daily basis during the under-eating phase. Live foods contain vital nutrients, enzymes, vitamins, and minerals that aid in daily detoxification. When you ingest raw and fresh fruits and veggies, you reload your body with living enzymes. When you do this, you optimize your body to detoxify and create an anti-aging effect, reduce inflammation, congestion, and pain. Better digest the food that you eat later on in the overeating phase. Replenish your body with nature's life forces. It's extremely important to drink a lot of fluids throughout the day, primarily water. Vegetable juices that are freshly prepared are the best to complement your water intake. Fruit juices made in a blender with no additives are also good. Minimize or avoid using fruits with a high glycemic index. Berries are a great source during under eating, as well as apples, pears, and tropical fruits like mangoes. Active individuals should have a recovery meal after training made from fresh, faster simulating proteins such as Y or milk proteins, 15 to 30 grams together with a low glycemic carbs such as rice or oats 10 to 25 grams. After exercise the body is in a peak metabolic potential to absorb amino acids and other nutrients into the working muscle. This highly anabolic potential diminishes within three to four hours after exercise. 
The timing of recovery meals is therefore critically important for all recuperation, muscle development, and strength again. To fully utilize proteins, you must optimize all three factors, enzymes, probiotics, and the live food factor. Good fats like raw avocado and raw nuts may accelerate fat burning, increase libido, and resist aging. Note that it is best to eat these foods at night during the overeating phase as to not tax your digestive system during the undereating phase. Do not combine nuts and seeds with grains and sugars. Do not combine nuts and seeds with grains and sugars. These high-fat foods work best in a low glycemic environment. Probiotics are the friendly, beneficial bacteria in your digestive tract. They are necessary for healthy digestion and may be the first line of defense in disease prevention. The main function of probiotics is to aid in the efficient absorption of food, vitamins, and minerals. They secrete antibiotic substances that destroy harmful pathogen bacteria, yeast, and parasites, and therefore help you digest and assimilate your food. Probiotics are abundantly found in natural fermented foods, including sauerkraut, miso, and yogurt. Athletes are particularly susceptible to mineral deficiency and therefore should consider supplementation. It's best to take the multi-mineral supplement before or right after your workout. Minerals help alkalize your body. This protects it from the acidic side effects, physical and mental stress. Ginseng is a good antioxidant and alternative stimulant to caffeine. It helps you adapt to stress. Ginger is a herb with anti-inflammatory properties and one of the best natural digestive aids. It possesses natural antibiotic properties, which makes it the most viable herb for detoxification. And chapter five, the overeating phase. Overeating principles. Rule number one, always start with subtle t- tasting foods, then move to more aggressive. Rule number two, include many taste, textures and colors and aromas as possible in your main meal. Rule three, stop eating when you feel much more thirsty than hungry. Instinctual eating, the overeating phase does not involve guilt or obsessive self-control. By following these rules, you will create a way of eating that is much more instinctive. By trusting your instincts, you will experience a sense of freedom and real satisfaction. Having the sense of freedom is necessary to be truly happy. The goals of overeating. Enhance your recuperation, repairing tissues and building muscles, boost your metabolism, replenish your energy reserves, nourish your body and mind while providing a sense of pleasure and full satisfaction. Experience a sense of freedom guilt-free. Retrain to eat instinctively. After the under-eating phase, your taste buds are primed for subtle taste. It's best way to retrain your taste buds. Research speculate that the cycle of fasting and overeating affects the brain similar to the way physical exercise affects muscles. Similar to how the intensity of a workout dictates the quality of a workout, the intensity of the meal dictates your body's metabolism. The human body is built for subtle, whole foods taste. But taste buds today have been dulled from being fed an aggressive, overly processed diet from an early age. Chapter 6, The Main Meal Food preparations for the overeating phase. Eating warm, cooked foods is not only beneficial, but a good balance between raw, uncooked foods during the undereating phase. Fermented soups like miso soup are great because it is a natural alkalizer. Fermented foods are helpful for your digestion and the balance of a healthy bacteria in your guts. On the Warrior Diet, you actually consume many raw nuts as you like and not gain weight. Just follow this rule. Do not consume nuts with green carbohydrates. Nuts work really well with a small amount of protein and an abundant amount of veggies. You can basically live on nuts and veggies. Almonds are the best nuts to consume. Red wine is good because it's fermented. Contains enzymes, so helps digest protein and combat free radicals because of the flavonoids. Protects against heart attacks. Fresh squeezed fruit and vegetable juices have a high GI, but since they come from natural, live, raw food, the body can usually handle them really well. They contain digestive enzymes that load the body with essential nutrients and support overall metabolism. Balancing sodium intake has a lot to do with the ratio of potassium and magnesium. What is not allowed on a warrior diet? Almost everything allowed except refined sugar, refined processed pastries. Chapter 7, Stubborn Fat. How to prevent stubborn fat. Number 1, stay away from crash diets that make you lose fat, then get it back. Second generation fat would most likely be stubborn than the first. Number 2, avoid ingesting foods that have an estrogenic effect on the body, such as soy, clover, 
and licorice. Number three, eat as much organic food as possible. Number four, if the food or water smells like plastic, stay away from it. Certain compounds in plastic called plasticizers are highly estrogenic and carcinogenic. Number five, minimize alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol may compromise your liver's ability to break down and detoxify estrogenic derivatives. Number six, control your insulin. Seven, follow a steady exercising routine. Chapter eight, the warrior diet versus other diets. Our bodies are built to adapt to various situations without losing homeostasis. If a diet is built on such specifics that you often fail to follow the regime, it is most likely an unstable diet. An unstable diet is a bad diet simply because it's almost impossible to stay on it. The huge disadvantage with the frequent feeding system is that the body never gets a break to detoxify, recuperate, and to let the pancreatic system rest. Readers note, now he's going through the diet and the lifestyle of ancient people like Greeks and Romans back then. The ancient warrior diet was based on a cycle of one meal per day at night. You can cycle the warrior diet in different ways, with days of under-eating only and days where you overeat. You can also alternate between days of high fat and days of high carbs. However, if your goal is to reduce body fat, high fat days would be most effective. You can always go off the warrior diet for a period, like holidays, and then go back on it. This is okay because you should never feel deprived. The warrior diet promotes synergy between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Overeating boosts metabolism. One of the most important benefits of overeating on the warrior diet is the overall metabolic accelerating effect on the body. Overeating can be good for you and doing so can be instinctual. Like any primal instinct, if you try to repress it and shove it inside, it will come back with a vengeance. The overeating syndrome. Deprivation leads to uncontrolled binging. Romance is based on an instinct like the warrior instinct that goes against the rules and norms, like being devoted to a cause or being self-sacrificing for love and such. Any seemingly romantic idea that appeals to a crowd of people is probably false romantic. True romanticism is individualistic and endorses uniqueness. All romantic acts involve breaking rules of routines and doing things out of the ordinary. The aggressive instinct. Aggression has both good and bad sides and is needed for survival. Some supplementation is necessary to make up for the lost nutrients that existed in greater quantities in food in the past. Some foods like fresh vegetables and fruits and juices are best eaten on an empty stomach during the day to accelerate the detoxifying effect and assimilation of their essential nutrients. Chapter 12, Sex Drive, Potency and Animal Magnetism An inherent instinctual code has always attracted men and women to each other sexually. Further, this inherent code is based on sensual, aesthetic attraction. He believes there may be a direct connection between diet, health, sexual performance, and fertility for both men and women. The most notable causes of testosterone decline is the common exposure to estrogenic chemicals in the environment, food and water. Overtraining may rob you of your testosterone. It is critical to take one or two days off per week. Rest is a part of the training cycle and is necessary for recuperation and strength gain. Food and sex have been bound together for a long time. This could be due to the intimate connection between the most two powerful instincts that predominate life. The instinct to survive, the instinct to multiply. Nourishment and sex give us a great sense of pleasure. Having the wisdom to satisfy both desires for food and sex is the art of living well. Chapter 14, The Warrior Workout. Controlled Fatigue Training, CFT. Strength is the ability to resist a force in time and space. The more you can sustain strength, the stronger you get. Factors that determine strength are, number one, intensity equals weight load. Number two is volume, time under tension. And three is form, the length of the motion. The time frame for a constructive intense training session is between 15 and 45 minutes. Pre-workout meals are optional, whereas post-workout recovery meals are critical. The logic behind recovery meals is to number one, minimize the catabolic and stress effects of the workout. Number two, replenish energy reserves in the muscles. And three, accelerate the anabolic effects after the workout. When cooking, you treat yourself and those around you to something that satisfies a most basic primal need, nourishment. Cooking is one way of being in control. In his opinion, it is a humane means of showing respect to yourself and your surroundings. 
Themes and main ideas. The Warrior Diet is based on the daily cycle of under-eating and overeating. The huge disadvantage with the frequent feeding system is that the body never gets a break to detoxify, recuperate, and let the pancreatic system rest. Fasting is the art of manipulating the metabolic system. Many people today have an irrational, almost phobic fear of hunger. Detoxification is literally the neutralizing, breaking down, and elimination of waste and toxins from the body. Eating live, raw foods during under-eating help. Number one, detoxify and creates an anti-aging effect. Number two, reduce inflammation, congestion, and pain. Three, better digest the food that you eat later on in the overeating phase. And number four, replenish your body with nature's life forces. Overeating principles. Rule number one, always start with subtle tasting foods, then move to more aggressive. Rule number two, include as many tastes, textures, colors, and aromas as possible in your main meal. And rule number three, stop eating when you feel much more thirsty than hungry. The goals of overeating. Enhance your recuperation, repairing tissues and building muscles, boost your metabolism, replenish your energy reserves, nourish your body and mind while providing a sense of pleasure and full satisfaction. Experience a sense of freedom, guilt-free. Retrain to eat instinctively. Having the sense of freedom is necessary to be truly happy. The human body is built for subtle, whole food taste. Our bodies are built to adapt to various situations without losing homeostasis. And the time frame for a constructive, intense training session is between 15 to 45 minutes. The timing of recovery meals is critically important for all recuperation, muscle development, and strength again. The logic behind recovery meals is to number one, minimize the catabolic and stress effects of the workout, two, replenish energy reserves in the muscles, and number three, accelerate the anabolic effects after the workout. And that's a book summary on The Warrior Diet. Check out a YouTube channel with over 450 book summaries uploaded previously and subscribe for more to come. If there's a book you want me to do a summary on, comment in the comments below. Check out our website, bestbookbits.com with over 450 written book summaries and you can download in the PDF and read offline in categories such as biographies, business and marketing, habits, health, leadership, money, personal development, philosophy, psychology, real estate, relationship, sales, spirituality, success, time management, and travel. If you're into the audio version, check out mixcloud.com forward slash bestbookbits for over 450 audio book summaries and more coming. And last, follow us on Instagram at bestbookbits for daily motivational quotes and book summaries. Thanks for watching and listening. Hope you got something out of this. Go out there and become the warrior you are meant to be. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye now.